the cakes have evolved over the years. I, I've been doing this about 24 years. When I when I started, cake you'd have basically three types of cakes. You'd have cakes of flowers, basically roses, in writing and a script. You'd have cakes that had a copy cake using a projector, and you'd have no novelty cakes with the plastic toys. Well, it's it's evolved from that to you know. You know, the photo cakes, which have been around about 10 or more years. Sculpted cakes are becoming bigger, you know, more requests. Uh, something new we do with cutout cakes. And that's something, it's kind of a compromise between a picture cake and a, and a sculpted cake. Where it's a little more cost effective where, where people can get a picture, a, a shape of a cake, but it's flat. So we draw a picture on a cake and cut the shape out. And that's, that's becoming increasingly popular. Um, Figure piping is becoming more important to people, and then we've had to learn to do different kinds of flowers. People are asking for more more kinds of flowers than just the basic roses. Also, people are asking to tie rolled fondant work into theme cakes, whether the cake has, is done entirely in fondant or or just certain aspects of the cake are, are trimmed out in, in the rolled fondant. And we're we're evolving with that. We've kind of learning as we go there's it's there's always something new being asked of us so we're, we're learning every day and so when people say what drives your you know you know, what changes your your mentality or, or what the direction you're headed it's really customer demand that that pushes you in one in one direction or another I think I've learned to have a yes mentality we'll find a way to do it but uh, think my way through the the pricing because a lot a lot of the requests that we're getting are people are seeing things off the internet um, ideas they've seen in books or, or just something they've dreamt up that they think there should be no problem because they saw it on TV if it can be done on on Cake Boss in a half hour well then we should be able to do that too and and while it might be possible to do it um, the price has to it has to be cost effective for it has to be a win win the customer has to get a good value and we we have to do our job and and make a little money off it so. I'm spending. I'm finding that I can't. I can't give an answer right away. I have to sometimes um, say, "Let us get back to you, and we'll we'll try to give you a, a, a price." Because I've I've already underpriced things and regretted it, and you know, learned the hard way. So you got to be a little more careful with that.